Welcome back to Firewatch. We're partway through day two where we discovered that our communication lines have been severed, which we've now found out the cause of. It's been cut, probably by the teens. So we're supposed to try to track them down, and Delilah wants us to actually scare them. Not sure if we're actually going to do that. We'll see what happens, but we're supposed to follow their breadcrumb trail of <laughs> beer cans. So, it goes down there. Yeah, there's a lot of branching paths that seem to lead to the same place. So let's see where this is heading, by the way. Is this looping back around to the lake, uh, Jonesy Lake, where we found them? Uh... I guess it might, if there's a path that goes all the way through here, to Wipiti Meadow. And then down this way, which there probably is. I mean, there is a cache there. Cache 241, so there's got to be a pathway there. <laughs> Ooh. Where's that go? Uh, which way am I looking? Like, south, sort of? Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to go, but let's see what's in here. Ah, block trail. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Can't wait till I get some tools. <sighs> just look at this view. hanging on that tree. Huh. Let's go check it out. Two forks fire look out that way, two miles. Two miles to Jonesy Lake as well. Thoroughfare. Supply drop. Oh yeah, supply drop's really, really close. Um, I suppose we should go check it out, huh? Yeah, we're super close to it. Let's see if we can go this way. Check out the sights, too. I mean, that's like a wallpaper right there. That, not so much. But let's not look at that. the supply drop. Wait, supply cash? The supply cash is the supply drop? Or what? How does this work? One, two, three, four? Yeah? Well, when I heard supply drop, I was thinking like a plane dropping it, but... No, maybe they just fly in or even hike and bring a bunch of stuff and then just... dump it off? I guess this is like the common place where it's a reasonable hike away from Two Forks and... Spruce and... Moss Peak? 
Wait, what is minus the two forks, right? Yeah, two forks lookout. But Delilah's is thoroughfare lookout. How come that's not on this list? How come it's spruce and moss peak? What even are those? Where are they? Yeah, those are the only two lookouts listed on this map. Two forks and thoroughfare. Forgot to look. Can we report anything about this? Nope. This goes to the thoroughfare. I imagine we can't go all the way to Delilah and meet them in person. Seems unlikely. There's got to be something stopping me, right? There they are. It's like a winch system. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes. Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. <laughs> I really love their back and forth. Oh, I've gone past where I came down, right? Yeah, I think I came down right here. Okay. Now, why would they leave one of their backpacks? Unless they're, like, right here. I'm a little bit creeped out by the possibility that maybe... Maybe it's that other person that showed up that did this, and maybe they, like, hurt the teenagers and stole their stuff, and... I don't know what else, but... There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Oh. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. I just assumed it was one of theirs. Okay. <laughs> like that Henry just like potted it like a cat playing with a thing. What did I say, Brian Goodwin? <gasps> camera! I've got a camera now, yes! Oh. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this, uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. <laughs> Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned, and, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? 
Yeah, so it's single use. I mean, it is 1989, so of course there's no digital cameras. Ah, uh, 18 in the bottom right, so I guess I've got 18 shots left. Is there a zoom? I don't think these <laughs> these things definitely do not have zooms. No. Okay, well I was going to take a picture of just like plant life and stuff, but maybe I should save it for taking a picture of evidence maybe for the like to use against the teens or something. I'll save it for particularly important stuff, I guess. Like this. Now, can I look at the pictures somewhere? Not in notes. Hmm. Maybe when you finish the game, you get to look at the pictures? Come back home and get them developed? Am I missing something? Oh. I, I guess. It just seems like you can kind of just slide down there. It's so short, but okay. I guess you w wouldn't really have much of a way up. I mean, you could easily just climb up there, couldn't you? Ah. Yeah, I mean, look at this. That'd be so easy. Whoa. Thin column of smoke. It looks like it's spinning in a circle, like, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, a cyclone or something? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. I guess it just kind of looks like it's spinning. It's not really. What'd they say? Five Mile Creek? Well, we'll get there. Oops. Huh, Photodome. The place for photos. I think that's the same brand as the camera, right? I uh, can't really tell, but... Yeah, it's a little... Baggy for finished prints. Some flowers stuffed in it. Let's see, 86. Dave. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shithill Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Fossilized claw. Thing's huge. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. <laughs> See what we got here. Throw a fair look out, Beartooth Point, yep. Cash 241, already got it. 
Bear sightings there. Uh, six bear sightings. Hmm. Not too much there, other than just some newly marked trails. Yeah, so it looks like it does connect over here to Wapiti Meadow, around Mule Point, down to Jonesy Lake. I mean, kind of obvious, I guess, because, you know, the sign. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years, whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. No trespassing. Uh, what does that say? To Jonesy Lake. Huh. Why is this closed here? Also, why is there a question mark in the text there? You see when it repeats it? The US code blah 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 ends in a question mark? Is that Henry going, huh? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. Yes, it is. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. It's so weird that I think this deserves a picture. And in fact, I'm gonna look up this code here and see what it is. Oh, okay. Wasn't particularly interesting, it's just... The code is about trespassing on national forest lands. Whoever without lawful authority or permission goes upon any national forest land while it is closed to the public, pursuant to lawful regulations, blah 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 blah. So basically it just means national forest closed. But yeah, why the hell is that there? And how come Delilah doesn't know about it? That's almost even stranger. You think she would kinda know like everything, right? Hasn't she been here for a while? Just looking for like a break in the fence or something. Uh, well, I mean, you can go under there, but <laughs> I don't think it's... I think it's more of a visual bug than anything. Okay, where am I exactly? Exactly. 
So am I going to have to go back to the canyon, perhaps? To get to Jonesy Lake? Might have to. Hmm. Was there a storm that hit this place? My first thought is that it's been burned. Oh, it has actually. Definitely a forest fire. I was thinking storm maybe because it kind of looks like it's almost been ripped off there. But no, I guess it just fractured there when it got weakened by the fire. Let's go there in a second. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any pathways. So this just... I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini... You've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful! <laughs> Look at this pile of stones. Cool. Almost looks unnatural that it's there, like somebody put it there. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Oh, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. I feel like I should take a picture of all this, too. I'm blowing through my pictures so fast, it feels like. Was that three pictures? In one episode? Supply drop, they're over lookout. So can I, like, uh... Talk to Delilah about this? I feel like I should be able to. I didn't see a prompt back there at the tree, though. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're headed back to the canyon, right? That smoke, by the way. Lost sight of it. Ah, there it is. Yep, headed back to the canyon. Alright. top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Would this lead to somewhere I haven't been before? 
I don't know if I've been there. Let's see. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Wait, I can't report it. Does that mean I've already seen it? Ah, oh, I have already found it. Okay, so I think I have been here before. Probably not down here, but I guess I came down at least this far? I don't know. It doesn't really look familiar to me yet. I'm going to keep going. Well, this leads me to Jonesy Lake as well. I've already gotten this one, I'm sure. Oh, now I can actually grab this note. Keep it with me. Oh, right, that's where the granola bar is, the ancient one. Yeah, I don't want food poisoning, I'm good. Wait, is this where I could take a detour to go to the medicine wheel? It is. Let's check it out while we're here. Yeah, somewhere over in this direction should be a medicine wheel. Ruby River up ahead. Ah, this whole thing. Oh, there's two caches along the Ruby River. Such a cool spot. It's so, like, awe-inspiring, but also scary to be beneath these rocks. You just know if they shift and fall. <laughs> Splat. something here. Where exactly are we? So we're not really at the medicine wheel right now. Close to it. Is there something else I can clear? Hmm. I feel like it was leading somewhere, but it just seems like there's nothing here. Just a tree growing amongst the rocks, I guess? Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. For a reply, we are very close to the medicine wheel. Okay. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. <laughs> I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. 
Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. So I could continue on to the Ruby River, although I suspect it's probably going to be blocked, but... Let's head to Jonesy Lake. Or I guess more specifically, let's head for the Column of Smoke. Getting close. Oh, this is the one that snapped, isn't it? I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. <sighs> You're fine, Henry. That's where I need to go, actually. Yeah, it looks like it. season wraps up. Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Ah, sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Looks so hazy out here. That's not smoke, is it? I don't think so. I'm sure Henry would have reported that. Missing person. Mitch Michaels, 31, 6'2", 165 pounds, uh, was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? 
more than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! So... Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. So, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. So just some trails on this map. And apparently there's a waterfall right there. Yeah, this one seems pretty old. It's pretty faded. And there's some dates written here all the way back in 71. <laughs> what is that? Someone from the Civil War or something? There is a delight in the something-something life of the open. Theodore Roosevelt? Oh. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we are going to make our way from here... Just a little ways over here to the camping site where the smoke is coming from.